Welcome to Joshua's Tech Tips. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to configure a Unify wireless access point. In this video, I'll be using a Nano HD access point. However, the configuration would be the same for any of the Unify access points. So these are the components that you get with the access point, mountain bracket, screws and wall plugs, POE injector, the wireless access point. You will also need at least three additional network cables for the installation process. First, you're going to connect one end of the network cable to the LAN port in the PoE injector. The other end of the network cable, you're going to connect that to your modem or your router. Next, connect another network cable to the PoE label port. The other end of the network cable connects to your wireless access point. This is a cable that will provide power and data to the access point. Next, please plug in your PoE injector to an electrical outlet. You should see a white LED light around the access point. Next, connect another network cable to your computer. The other end of that network cable will connect to your modem or router. The computer that you connected to the modem search for and download java runtime environment i will leave the link for it in the description of this video once the download is complete run the application Installation should take a few seconds. Once completed, please click close. Next, we're going to search for the Ubiquiti controller software. I'll leave a link for it in the description as well. Under the software section, choose the appropriate one based on your operating system. I'm choosing Windows since I'm running Windows 10 on this computer. Accept the license agreement and download. Once the download is complete, please run the application. Select finish and wait a little while for the application to start. Once started, select launch a browser to manage this network. You should get this error screen. This is nothing to be worried about. Select details and select go to web page. Choose your country and time zone. I am in Trinidad, so I will select Trinidad and Tobago. My time zone would be minus 4 for the speed. Click Next. Here you will find Unify devices which have not been provisioned as yet on your network. This is my wireless access point. I'm going to click the checkbox and click Next. Here you will need to provide a name for your wireless network as well as a security key. You also have the option of turning on a guest network here. Once finished, select next. Here you will need to create an administrator username and password for your Unify controller software. These credentials are used to access the controller software only. At the bottom section that says device authentication, I'm going to leave that on the default settings. Select next and select finish. 
For this example, we are not creating cloud credentials, so please close this off. After a few seconds, you should now be greeted with your Unify dashboard. The home screen shows you an overview of your devices and its current status. At this point, we only have one access point. At the bottom of the screen, you are provided with additional details. We have multiple tabs that provide us with useful information about our devices and network. On the Devices tab, here we will find our wireless access point. The last tab to the bottom is the Settings tab. Here we can make configuration changes to our devices. We select the Wireless Networks tab. Here we see our current wireless network. We can edit it here and change its name. Also, we can change the security key. We also have the option of adding additional wireless networks. For instance, if we wanted to add a guest network, we can do that here. Lastly, let's test the wireless network. See the SSID Joshua's test? And we have connected successfully. Now let's just test an application. I'm going to test YouTube. And there you have it. We are successfully connected to the wireless network and it's working fine. So thanks a lot for viewing this video, guys. Um, if you're interested in purchasing this device, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. Please like and share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Alright guys, thanks again for your time. See you soon.